participate upon our activities so that our affairs may reach a successful conclusion. Thank you for being our source of guidance today. Amen. Amen. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. All right, we'll let Daniel get situated in. All right, we'll move to approval of the agenda. Move to approve. Second. First, Callie. Second, Burks. Any additional comments? First, was it Mayor Blade? My apologies. All right, any discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Those? Thank you, sir. Citizens' comments? We have one tonight. Excellent. Welcome. My name is Barbara Denman. I live on 7110 Horn Tavern Road. Um, this is my first meeting, so forgive me if this is not the right place to do this. Um, I moved here two years ago, and I bought in Fairview because it was a quiet, sleepy little town. And after moving from Phoenix, it was a pleasant change. Um, I have a couple of concerns about the construction that's going on and what it's going to mean for Horn Tavern Road in the future. Um, for myself in particular, I already have a problem with looter, not looter, litter, litterers and loiterers in the cemetery. Um, having to call the cops because there's people at one and two in the morning drinking and smoking marijuana and doing whatnots in the cemetery. And with all the new construction and all the bored teens that are going to be moving in with them, where are they going to go? And what do we as neighbors have at our disposal to handle the influx of crime that's going to come in with them? Um, in my front yard, essentially. And uh, the other thing is all the trees that have been clear cut with all the construction that's going on. Are we going to, are there plans to reestablish all that growth that's been cut down? I mean, I'm, put, I'm in the middle of putting in a major construction project and spent eight months planning around the trees on my own property and spent a fortune protecting a 200-year-old oak. I have a 100-year-old oak on the, on the road, and if you're going to widen Horn Tavern, I'm in danger of losing another very large oak tree. And I'd like, I'd like to know what it is that I can do as a citizen to protect those trees um, and not have them go the way of the dodo like they've done over here off of the 100. Um, those trees are important to us, especially with all the new cars and, you know, all the carbon footprint that's going to be moving in. So those are my concerns. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you very Thank you. much. All right, we'll go to approval of the minutes, February 12th, 2019, regular meeting. Just one quick note. I think we show Slaughter as present, and I don't think... She was there. Any additional comments? Are you going to like to make a motion? I make a motion. We approve. Second. Anderson Burks, any additional comments, questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Close. Thank you, gentlemen. New business officer election, vacant position of second secretary. Um, staff comments, Mr. Anderson was appointed the first secretary during the February meeting, vacating the second secretary seat, and then we deferred it to this meeting in anticipation of getting another member and then having Mr. Kelly back. If anyone would like to make a motion um, for that position, that second secretary seat. I'd make a motion to nominate Mr. Kelly as second secretary. Second. 
first and a second for Mr. Kelly. Mr. Kelly, do you accept? Yes. Any other nominations? We have a motion on the floor for uh, Mr. Kelly to be the second secretary. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Any opposed? Thank you, sir. Item two, new business, development plan, Willow Crest subdivision, phase two, four proposed lots on 2.74. Property located at Willow Crest Drive, map 22, parcel 66, R20 zoning district, property owned by Habitat for Humanity of Williams County. No staff comments. Anyone have any questions? Um, about a year ago, we approved a, a, a development for them that had about six lots in it. Is, have they completed all of those? Would that have been for Willow Crest? I think that might have been like a, a subdivision off of um, 100. Yeah. For, for so, Habitat? No, it was uh, a separate. The, the only other one they would have would be over on Highway 96, and it's uh, completely right. separate. Okay. This is a continuation of the Willow Crest that is currently there, and all of the infrastructure has been installed. Uh, so this is the to, second phase. To this. this is just the Probably. second phase completing that out. Thanks, sir. Is this the final phase of that? It is. Move to approve. Second. Power first. Berg second. Any additional questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you. Item three, new business. Final plat, Otter Creek Springs, phase one, section one, 16 lots on 11.9 acres. Property located on Old Nashville Highway, map 42, parcel 78 and 79. R20 Zoning District, property owned by Otter Creek Holdings, LLC. One staff comment, it says, adjoining property map 42, parcel 78 should be shown as RS40 Zoning. And just prior to the meeting, just so everybody knows, that we had a question of what the zoning of that parcel is, whether it's R20 or RS40. I don't think that's gonna affect tonight's vote, but we're going to we're going to dig into the minutes after the staff will and try and find an answer for that. Was that property that was annexed? That was, yes, sir. I believe everything that's annexed to the city comes in as a 40 automatically. No, I believe you're correct. The, the applicant believes that they um, submitted for rezoning with the annexation, but we'll dig into the minutes and find the answer. But it won't affect anything that's tonight. On these temporary turnarounds, stone turnarounds, are they going to eventually become cul-de-sacs and um, we do have Mr. Cavender present? I don't believe that phase one, section one has any temporary cul-de-sacs on it. If I'm wrong, do do let me know. <coughs> So we're here, yeah, you're here now. So it would be the next one. Oh, okay. I'll have to run the thing. There's two. Any additional questions or comments? Motion to approve. The first. Second. 
second. Any additional questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Which carries. Item four, new business, final plat, Otter Creek Springs, phase one, section two, 16 lots. Sorry. 16 lots on 11.9 acres, property located on Old Nashville Highway, Map 42, Parcel 79, R20 Zoning District, property owned by Otter Creek Holdings, LLC. Same staff comment, joining property, Map 42, Parcel 78, should be shown as RS40 Zoning, which we're going to review later to confirm. So I think, Mr. Cavanaugh, if we could, we'll get you. This is the one that, had, that shows those two temporary... Those will eventually, the, the road will eventually continue through that area, right? Yes, those right there will continue on. We, we anticipate on following through and just simultaneously bringing before the board the, uh, you know, the remainder of the subdivision. Uh, of course, naturally, they'll be phased out, uh, but uh, we will be bringing those in simultaneously without any kind of break in, uh, you know, in the construction. And I believe we brought the whole entire. I think. I think prior to this, I think that's some of the um, discussion that we we that we'll need to have. I, I think during the week is, uh, you know, we we've had the entire plat that was reviewed at the time of annexation, and and uh, of course we're you know this is part of that same original plat, and but we like I said, uh, pending there's any issues or any questions about it that uh, would we plan on on you know going through pretty much uh, immediately uh, preparing those construction plans and, and drawings. Thank you your question, Mr. Bauer. On the turnaround. Yeah. Any additional questions or comments? Motion to approve. Second. First and second. Any additional questions? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Thank you, sir. <clears throat> Bonds and letters of credit. Item one, Cumberland Estates, phase one, irrevocable standby letter of credit, expiration of 328-2019. The uh, developer was just here um, saying that they're going to renew it in the morning. But I'd say the standard protocol, we'd probably call it just in case it doesn't, or move to call it just in case it doesn't get renewed. Make a motion to call the bond, or excuse me, the irrevocable standby letter of credit if it's not renewed. First. Second. Second. Any additional discussion? All in favor? Aye. 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 Opposed? Item two, bonds and letter of credit, Willow Crest subdivision, reclamation bond expiration of 319-2019. Staff have any comment on? Come on up. <coughs> Hi, guys. My name is Tasha Towery. I am a construction manager for Habitat for Humanity, and I'm now sitting director of construction for Habitat. Uh, I wanted to actually touch on this subject. I made some phone calls in the last um, couple of days to follow up on this. Uh, I do have a copy of um, the email that was sent from our director of finance at the time. Uh, it's no longer formally, was a former employee. I was able to get that information today from Sharon Hall when I called uh, to verify that we do have this bond. I've contacted the company. Apparently, there's another person that's over this for us. And same company, different person. They verified that this bond is, in fact, in place and will not need to be renewed until we send a letter for completion. So I asked them to send me a verification for that. And she said I would have it by this Thursday or Friday. Excellent. Thank you. So we'll probably take the same steps. I'd make a motion to call the reclamation bond if it's either not renewed or there's not proof provided that it's still in effect. I'll second the motion. First and second. Any additional questions or comments? All in favor? Aye. 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 Any opposed? Thank you. All right. <clears throat> Reports for discussion and information. City planning staff, Michael, you have anything for us tonight? Uh, two things. One, 
we're we're getting out your packets to you. I hope uh, in a timely manner. Yes, thank you. It very is much. nice that you do look over those during the week. And if you have any questions, my my phone's always open. Email's always open. Uh, same with the whole staff. So if you have any questions, either specifically about uh, something you see or locations, other other things that would go along with that, let us know. Uh, we can work through anything that we do see. So. Uh, Appreciate anybody who does look into that ahead of time. It does make a big difference here. Uh, second thing, uh, in doing some of the review of some of our documents, we've looked at the RS40 uh, zoning. Our lot width is actually wider than the required lot width for county property of the same uh, designation. So we are in the talks of bringing forward a change to our zoning ordinance for the uh, RS40, reducing that lot width down to be comparable to what the county has is there so that they would kind of mirror each other if one side of the road's one, one side's opposite or uh, so forth. That way uh, we we kind of have that same general guideline. But other than that, that's uh, what, what we is have. That, what is that width? Uh, their width is 130 feet, ours is 150 feet, and we're either gonna go to that 130 or something similar would be our plan to bring to you. Thank you, sir. Your manager, you got anything for us tonight? Yes, sir, one, one item for you tonight. I emailed earlier today the uh, draft of the comprehensive plan. Um, this project process has been going on for about a year. Um, the schedule from now is that uh, we're working on a date that we can present the comprehensive plan to the Planning Commission. The process would be the Planning Commission receives it, reviews it, refers it to the City Council for acceptance and adoption, or the BOC for acceptance and adoption. Uh, that process would be first that the City reviews the document, accepts the document as presented. Um, we would do that by resolution. That would be our working document, so to speak. Once we put together a financial plan for the for the comprehensive plan and our road conditions report, then we would go back to the city council or the board of commissioners and ask that the comprehensive plan be adopted by ordinance. That provides two things. Number one, stability for the length of the plan. So we know going forward, this is the plan that the city will have through 2040 as our city grows. The second thing it does is add a layer of protection to the plan in that um, people who come after us, being planning commissions, boards of commissioners, city managers, staff, the only way that the city would be able to vary from that plan through its expiration date would be via ordinance. You could not simply abandon the plan and choose to do something else. When the once the ordinance is adopted, then that's the city's growth plan that goes forward. That's very important uh, for the work that's been done for the plan and for the protection of it long term. The second thing we'll do as a part of this is review and present to you our zoning ordinance or our zoning overlay. There are going to be portions of the plan, particularly the land use, that identify a certain area of the city that over the next 20 years should be commercial, should be residential, should be various types of zoning. What we want to do is bring that back to the Planning Commission to look at, to offer recommendation to the BOC so that we can adopt a land use plan as a part of the comprehensive plan. Now there will be some overlay and overlap of some of those zonings. What's residential today may be commercial 20 years from now, 10 years from now. What's commercial today may be residential, depending on where you are. What we want to do is adopt an overlay of that so we know going forward, if someone brings to you an annexation or rezoning, you will have a defined document in front of you that tells you what the land use plan pursuant to the comprehensive plan will be. It's very important going forward. So there will be a couple of steps. Our plan right now is to get you the, <coughs> the draft for your consideration in April take the comprehensive plan to the city council or board of commissioners in May for its first adoption by resolution. So if you would look at that plan, uh, make sure um, that you've kind of read through it. Parts of it are somewhat dry. The first third of the plan or the draft plan is basically a rehash of how we got to where we are, but is really eye opening document um, as it relates to where we are today compared to where we were 20 years ago when the, when the first plan was adopted. There's not been a lot of change. Where we are today, pursuant to the 1999 plan, is pretty similar. Our focus as a staff is to make sure that when the next group of decision makers for the City of Fairview 
looks at a comprehensive plan in 2040 that they can check items off the list that we accomplished with the 2020 plan and that's our goal. So if you would take some time to look at it, um, there's also a website, Fairview2040, fairview2040.com. You can pull that website up. It gives information in addition to the draft so you can see kind of the process that we went through. But we appreciate you taking the time to look at that and I want to thank you in advance for the work that's going to be done during this calendar year. Um, 2019 is going to be an exceptionally busy, exceptionally fast calendar year, but it will set the stage for Fairview going forward for quite some time. So thank you for your work on that. That's all I have for you tonight. Thank you, sir. <clears throat> City Engineer. I have nothing tonight. Thank you, sir. City Attorney. Nothing tonight, Mr. Chairman. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Communication from the Planning Commission members. Mr. Anderson. I have nothing tonight. Mr. Power. Nothing. Mr. Kelly. Nothing tonight. Mr. Burks. Uh, just a few things. I, I did have the opportunity to read through the draft of the comprehensive plan today, and it's it's pretty in depth. It's interesting. Um, there's good and there's bad with it, as with everything. So I highly recommend that everybody take the time to read through it uh, and give us some feedback if possible. Also, if you see any of these huge potholes, let, let the city know where those are at so we can try to address those. I've managed to find a couple myself, unfortunately. Um, and Mr. Sullivan, thank you for doing a great job. And when he says he's available by phone, he is. I called him the other day and he was somewhere in Central America and he answered the phone. So <laughs> thank you, sir. That's all. Mayor Blade? Nothing, sir. Thank you. Mr. Jenkins? Uh, yes. Uh, thank you so much to all the citizens who did show up. Um, we had quite a good turnout for this last meeting, the 2040 uh, meeting. What was it? Uh, last Tuesday? So anyways, thank you for everybody who showed up. Um, now we as a planning commission hopefully will have a solid plan and a guide to be able to use to base our decisions on. So that's, that's huge. I'm really excited. Thank you, sir. Uh, we'll echo the, the comprehensive plan. Make sure we read it. It's active online for everybody else to read it. Ms. Dimon, thank you for coming and speaking tonight. The next meeting will probably be a lot of discussion with that comprehensive plan and a road report and kind of what the plan is going forward. So you might join us next month also. Um, and and we, we have an open seat for the Planning Commission right now as well, so we'll accept applicants online if anybody's interested. And that's all I have. I'll entertain a motion to, to adjourn. Motion to adjourn. So moved. <laughs>